All right, I'm looking at a Cat D6B. It ran when parked kind of thing. No, actually, it doesn't run. And uh, oh, it's got a heister wrench uh, winch on it. Oh, put myself. And um, I think the injection pump needs some work. So anyway, we're going to see if it turns over. Put some batteries in it, see if it turns over. I think it's got good oil. It's actually got a crack in the block somewhere. Yeah, right there. A little crack in the block that they've sm slathered JB weld on. So, back out here on this Cat uh, D6B, and I got it actually cranking over yesterday. I didn't realize it was a 24 volt system, but it, it's got a you tie these in uh, series and then it'll crank over. It, the batteries were real weak. I charged them overnight and they're still only like 85%. So I'm going to come out here today and see if I can do anything, make any progress. Let's see it cranking here. Sounds pretty good. Give it a little fuel. I think it's. Maybe give it a shot of ether and see what happens. All right, so she likes ether. I don't know where to set you at. can't get the it's probably the pumps got some issues there it's stuck or something so I'm gonna work on it and see if I can figure something out with uh, hopefully I got enough battery to do a little bit of work today all right still just hitting on ether and I've cracked the injection pump lines and they're it's hard to see up keys starter switches on the other side so i'm kind of leaning over and trying to look and see i mean fluids fuel's coming out and same with the injection lines I, injectors i cracked all the lines going to the injectors and they're pushing fuel through so i got the back cover of this pump off and i was just going to take a look at the see how the rack moves i can't add yeah, something This should be okay. Sorry, I'm gonna put the camera down there. I didn't bring my book with me, but yeah. Hmm. Huh? Should have brought my service manual with me. Uh, I uh, okay. I don't know a lot about these, but. I feel like this is not right so I guess I need to probably go look at the book I should have looked at the book or I should have brought the book with me so I'm just gonna keep kind of staring at this thing and see what magic happens all right I'm back on this cat dozer engine uh, I think I'm gonna try and take this uh, well, I think I can get in here, try to take this, uh, see if I can get this rack um, loosened up. So I didn't bring my camera, so I'm using my phone. So this is kind of got to be spotty. All right, I'm not an expert here, but let's see here. Take this off again. So pretty sure this is, uh, this is the governor. So it, it, but this is also like right in. Plate off there and right in there, I believe it's the rack. I believe it's 
Fuck. And I can't. I don't know. Like I said, I'm just trying to kind of reach back in here and see if I can get that freed up. So we'll see what I can do. I got a split here. Got all these bolts out. That off. And then two bolts come out down here where the, I think that's the oil drain. So I'm just trying to see if I can maybe get it backed out. Oh, and then of course the lines are off. Alright, just wiggling this back here and kind of sticking a pry bar in here just ever so slightly. Sliding it back. Alright, she's off. Just stuff some rags in here. This is just a slip joint. That's the oil drain. And I just stuff some rags in just for the time being. Alright, so I'm going to kind of take a peek inside this pump. But I'm pretty sure that rack is supposed to move in and out. Could be wrong. I'll get some tools and try to open it up. do that because that turns my pump. And I don't want to get it out of time. Take the, so this governor will slow it down so it is stuck out. Let's see it is. Alright, so this is stuck. Now it, it is. Oh, now the pins come out, but it's still stuck. And I don't know. Maybe I can just work it back and forth, and that might loosen it up. But you know, I sure don't want it to get stuck open. free. So this is, this is probably full throttle. And then that, that engine takes off. This should, you know, close it when it's Spin. I can't spin it because it'll mess up my timing, which I hope I didn't mess up too bad. Yeah. 
to lose it. Diesel or something. Bleeding those lines, it's it was spitting fuel out. And this warming up I'm going to try and get this dude loaded on this little trailer 
And I've got it backed up in a hole here. And uh, the ramps aren't too, too steep. So we'll see what kind of damage we can do. doing 35 the whole way home it's been about uh, it's about 20 miles from my house 